everybody and welcome to back to story time with miss kate today we have a special guest this is harper and she's going to help us read our story today so we started yurtle the turtle and other stories um last week but i had a little bit of trouble uploading videos so we're going to read the second story today and then the third story tomorrow so let's get started with gertrude mcfuzz there once was a girl bird named Gertrude McFuzz. She had the smallest plain tail ever was. One droopy droop feather, and that's all she had, and oh, that one feather made Gertrude so sad. And there was another young bird that she knew, a fancy young birdie named Lolo Lee Lou. And instead of one feather behind, she had two. Me Poor Gertrude. Whenever she happened to spy Miss Lola Lee Lou flying in the sky, she got very jealous. She frowned and she pouted. Then one day she got awfully mad and she shouted, This just isn't fair. I have one. She has two. I must have a tail just like Lola Lee Lou. I'll show you the picture. So she flew to her uncle, a doctor named Dake, whose office was high in a tree by the lake, and she cried, Uncle Doctor, oh please, do you know of some kind of pill that will make my tail grow? Tut, tut, said the doctor, such talk, how absurd. Your tail is just fine for your kind of a bird. Then Gertrude had tantrums. She raised such a den that finally her uncle, the doctor, gave in, and he told her just where she could find such a pill on a pillberry vine at the top of the hill. Oh, thank you, chirped Gertrude McFuzz, and she flew straight up the hill where the pillberry grew. Yes, there was a vine, and as soon as she saw it, she plucked off a berry and started to gnaw it. It tasted just awful, almost made her sick. But she wanted a tail, so she swallowed it quick. Then she felt something happen. She felt a small twitch, as if she'd been tapped down behind by a switch. And Gertrude looked round, and she cheered. It was true. Two feathers, exactly like Lola Lee Lou. Then she got an idea. Now I know what I'll do. I'll grow a tail better than Lola Lee Lou. These pills grow feathers are, that grow feathers are working just fine. So she nibbled another one off of the vine. She felt a new twitch, and then Gertrude yelled, Wee! Miss Lola has two. I have three. When Lola Lee Lou sees this beautiful stuff, she'll fall right down flat on her face, sure enough. I'll show her who's pretty. I certainly will. Why, I'll make my tail even prettier still. She snatched at those berries that grew on that vine, and she gobbled down four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then she couldn't, she didn't stop eating young Gertrude McFuzz till she'd eaten three dozen. That's all that there was. Then the feathers popped up with a zang with a zing. They blossomed like flowers that bloom in the spring. All fit for a queen, what a sight to behold. They sparkled like diamonds and gumdrops and gold, like silk, like spaghetti, like satin, like lace. They burst out like rockets all over the place. They waved in the air and they swished in the breeze, and some were as long as the branches of trees. And still, they kept growing. They popped and they popped until long after sundown. Uh, finally, they stopped. And now, giggled Gertrude, the next thing to do is fly right straight home and show Lola Lee Lou. <coughs> and when Lola sees these, why, her face will get red and she'll let out a scream and she'll fall right down dead. Oh, that's not very nice. <laughs> then she spread out her wings to take off from the ground, but with all of those feathers, she weighed 90 pounds. She yanked and she pulled and she let out a squawk, but that bird couldn't fly, couldn't run, couldn't walk. Then all through that night, she was stuck on that hill and Gertrude McFuzz might be stuck up there still. If her good uncle Dake hadn't heard the girl yelp, he rushed to her rescue and brought along help. That's a lot of feathers. To lift Gertrude up almost broke all their beaks, and to fly her back home it 
took almost two weeks. And then it took another week more to pull out those feathers. My Gertrude was sore. And finally, when all the pulling was done, Gertrude behind her again just had one. That one little feather she had as a starter. But now that's enough because now she is smarter. All right. So that was Gertrude McFuzz. And then tomorrow we will read The Big Brag. I can't wait to see you all. Be safe. Wash your hands. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.